This is, goes on the uh, top of the Brio fire pit. I'll start welding some of these things in and then uh, I'll put a grate on here, just a, a rough grate. I'll put my pizza stone on here and then put the uh, the dome on on top of that. I think it's looking okay. sure to wear gloves when you do this because these things are quite sharp. All those edges have to be cleaned off. Can see how this looks. Okay, there's a ring. And then the fire pick like that. I'll weld some of these things up. Should be good to go. Got some really rough areas here. So I didn't go the whole way through. I just bent it by hand. Now I'm gonna clean it up with the uh, flap wheel on my uh,
Okay, I'm just gonna spot weld the end here. I've got my Harbor Freight welder set up for 165.17 for this uh, gauge of steel. And I'm just gonna do a little spot here. Gonna see how that because the hair tight, let me try that again.
the reason why you do it slowly like this not that I'm a welder or anything the reason why you do it slowly is because otherwise this thing will walk all over the place Slowly but surely. Got my vent open on the other side. The vent open. See the temperature's climbing. 150. 180. 200.
250. Uh, that's Celsius. So that's 500 Fahrenheit. Five fifty. Six hundred. Inside there. There's the front again. And let me just repeat. I made a pizza oven. Doesn't necessarily know make me a pizza maker. But uh, I'm willing to try. Thanks. Hi, my name's Rob and I've got a Brio X19 fire pit that I wanted to make pizzas on it. I haven't seen anything like this, so uh, I decided to make one myself. What I did was, I started off with a frame. This is my frame. That actually goes on the... Now let me just say this, I've made this fire pit, doesn't necessarily I can make pizzas because I'm not a pizza maker but you, you would be able to cook pizzas on this fire pit. So here's the frame, uh, I've actually got a uh, Three-eighths of an inch thick uh, steel plate that uh, goes on there. This is a pizza stone from uh, Pampered Chef. It's a classic 12-inch uh, pizza stone. That is the uh, bottom of a Komodo Joe 22 and a half inch or 22 inch uh, grill. So what I do is I actually light the fire, put the uh, uh, frame on there, put the steel on there. I slowly warm up the stone. Uh, I get the temperature up here to uh, about 750 and I'm able to <clears throat> add wood while the thing is cooking and uh, so the heat comes up from the top as I say I get this to about 750 I cut this into the bottom of the uh, discarded uh, Komodo Joe uh, grill that had uh, broken and someone threw it away. I cut that in there. It was fairly easy to cut. Uh, I've probably got a 12 and a half inch uh, opening there and about four and a half inches wide. That's from a Komodo Joe. I just drilled it in. I've got the vent on the top over here. 
and <coughs> here is the piece that I actually uh, cut out so to help when I'm cooking you know to have extra heat from the top I'm just using that that piece in there I'll probably put a little uh, handle in there that I can lift that thing on and off um, seems to be exactly the same size as my uh, poker and I am able to pick it up and move it around so to what it looks like inside that's the vent on the top I actually keep that closed when I'm cooking you can see what it looks like inside there and this is this is the uh, in case someone didn't see one of my last videos I've got two 38 inch fireproof mats on a wooden deck for my Brio X19 I've got about 20 odd uh, fire bricks or furnace bricks on top of that the temperature underneath there gets to about 350 degrees so it's more than hot enough to cause a fire so I'm not telling you what to do I'm just showing you what I did because I actually wanted my fire pit inside my tiki hut that's also another no-no but anyway um, in hindsight this may be a little better if it was higher because uh, I find that I'm bending down a lot to uh, put the pizzas in and out and I, I use a 12 inch uh, pizza peel and uh, that's it. Call me if you have any questions. Please like my video.